Have you ever stepped on a piece of rotted wood? You know the feeling of just crunching right through it? Have you ever wondered how it gets like that? When wood is alive, it's hard. So if you want to cut it or make a hole in it, you need a saw or a hammer. The reason it's hard is that about 45% of wood is made of cellulose and another 25% is made of lignin. These are both tough, rigid organic compounds that make up the cell walls and give the plant its structure. Then there are other softer compounds like hemicellulose in between them. So what's responsible for breaking down these compounds when wood rots? The main culprits are fungi. Most fungi are saprotrophs. That means they get their nourishment from dead and decaying organic matter. But some types of rot fungi attack living trees too. Come on, let's meet a few of these rotten characters. Brown rot likes to digest cellulose. It has a special trick for doing this. First, it breaks down the soft hemicellulose and that process creates hydrogen peroxide the chemical you use to bleach your clothes or sometimes your hair. This hydrogen peroxide then seeps into the rest of the wood and causes it to fracture into cubical pieces. Brown rot fungi mostly live at high latitudes near the Arctic, though it's found in pine forests in the Himalayas too. Some species of brown rot attack the timber that's used to build houses, so homeowners have to watch out for it. Soft rot fungi eat cellulose too, but they have a more direct method. They secrete an enzyme called cellulase, which breaks the cellulose right down. Soft rot fungi lives in many different habitats, including warm places like the tropics. The third type is white rot. This type of fungi isn't so interested in cellulose. It primarily attacks the lignin in the wood. But some species will attack cellulose or hemicellulose too. White rot turns wood spongy and gives it a lighter white or yellow color. Some varieties of white rot fungus are actually grown by humans for food. Shiitake mushrooms and oyster mushrooms, for example, which are really popular in the cuisine of Japan, China, Southeast Asia and some parts of India such as Mizoram. So that's your introduction to the fascinatingly rotten world of rot. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.